Well, very little is known about Somnath Bharti from before he became Delhi's law minister. However, he's dominated the headlines since his vigilante raid last month on an alleged drug debt. Now, once this story hit the international news networks, his name jogged the memory of the owner of a British website. Dan Balsam says Somnath Bharti's earlier avatar made him one of the most hated people by website operators. Did any of that money find its way to Delhi Law Minister Somnath Bharti is the subject of this Headlines Today investigation. We started with a lawsuit that was filed in a California court by Dan Balsam against spammers that named one Somnath Bharti as a respondent. In an email to Headlines Today, Timothy Walton, the lawyer for Dan Balsam, admitted that most of the documents he had in his possession had been shredded since the case dates back to 2003-2004. What he did have, however, was this. A copy of the agreement which was later signed by one Somnath Bharti. A fine of $5,000 was also paid by him. Attached to this U.S. court document is the ROXO list, short for Register of Known Spam Operators. To get onto this infamous list, one had to be terminated by at least three internet service providers. Among those blacklisted is a Somnath Bharti of top sites located in India. Is this the same Somnath Bharti? Somnath Bharti responded to a seven-point questionnaire sent to him by Headlines Today in which he says, and I quote, I have no link with this website. Back in early 2000, server of Madgen Solutions Private Limited was entrusted with an associate by me who misused it without my consent or knowledge. But what makes this rebuttal hard to believe is Conrad Longmore's findings, a UK-based website owner. In 2004, he began investigating the persistent phone calls and messages he was receiving. When he published his findings, he received this email from Somnath Bharti with the subject line, surprised and serious. What Mr. Bharti could not explain, however, was this business card as put up by Conrad Longmore on his website. Headlines today did its own digging. What we found was a memorandum of association dated August 16, 2002 with the Malvia Nagar address. The point of this investigation is not to malign the minister, but simply to question the high moral ground taken by him on issues that directly impact the lives of the Aam Aadmi that he claims to represent. With Ashish Mehrishi in New Delhi,